Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Clover Farm. And we are here in the beautiful Story of Seasons trio of Towns game, getting ready for another wonderful day. And to hopefully today will be super fantastic, because yesterday we went and spent all of our money on lumber. So that was pretty exciting. We went and we got 20 small lumber and 10 normal lumber. It cost a lot of money, pretty much all the money that we had, but thankfully we have made a ton of money too. Look at this, 7,000 gold. I'm so rich. <gasps> and more radishes. More radishes are already ready to harvest. I think we're doing a really fantastic job. So I'm super excited because our crops are coming along. We have two animals already. We're making a lot of fantastic progress and we even have access to two towns now. One of which has a town that has seashells and an ocean that you can splash in and like a wild parrots that you can say hello to and it's ridiculously cool and I love it and then let's see what's going on in here today radish radish has laid us another egg you guys she's doing pretty well I think looking happy today let's see if I can give her her chewy treat we got some chewy treats as gifts from the goddess so Desi the harvest goddess loved how many bugs I've been collecting and how many frogs I've been collecting so she gave us these chewy treats um it appears it appears I have just there's four chicken feeds left. Wonderful. I'm going to need to buy some more soon. I just threw the chewy treats on the ground instead of giving them to my chicken. That wasn't part of the plan, you guys. That was not part of the plan. All right, let's try again. All right, radish. Radish, eat, eat radish. <laughs> there we go. I managed to give radish one of the chewy treats. All right, so let's see. We got one egg from her today, but chewy treats are a special kind of animal treat you can give them, and that will hopefully increase, increase her animal byproduct amount as time goes on. So it doesn't look like she happens to have... Yeah, we're still working on it. She has only had two chewy treats so far, so no new eggs with two chewy treats. I'm sure it's only a matter of time, my beloved little hen hen. And then let's run in and Minty, our cow, who is ready to be milked for the day. Let's give her a good brush first, because that just seems polite. Brush your cow first and put that away. Say hello to Minty. Hi, Minty. How are you doing today? And then let's go ahead and grab the milker and get some milk. Yay! All right, there we go. So hopefully it'll be easier today to push Minty out the front door. Some days I really struggle with it. Come on, Minty. No, Minty. There you go, Minty. All right. And let's see how she's doing by checking the animal notebook. Look at that affection through the roof. I'm so happy. She is a cheerful cow. And I think what we're seeing there is that because she's cheerful, her affection goes up a lot faster. And we did remember to put our animals back inside of the coop and the barn last night. So they aren't stressed out, which makes me happy. Then nobody would be happy with stressed out animals. That would be so sad. Oh, and we've, we've just done so much. I'm just doing a quick check for any plants. Oh, there's more butterflies. Yeah, quick plant check to see if I may perhaps be able to grab a mint or something. I could give to Ford. Uh, not quite. Though it is fun to note that once you start making like tons and tons of money, you can just buy the mints and things like that. That would be kind of cool too. And I should probably think about doing my part-time job today. Oh, and actually, what's my town rank at? Are we almost to a D? Whoops, wrong, wrong option. And you guys, we're getting so close to being able to do a D town rank. I wonder if we'll ever have any part-time jobs to do in the other towns too? Or is it just like a West Town exclusive thing? Let me know, you guys. I'd be really curious to find out um, if like you can only do part-time jobs in one town. Because if that's the case, then that may slow us down. Oh my gosh, her milk has worked so much. Look at that. Maybe because her affection is going up. That's fantastic. Thank you, Minty. And then let's see, one egg. I might want to start keeping a hold of some of my eggs. And uh, I want to keep a hold of my maple branches because we can use them for special farm circles. There's so much going on. It's starting to get to the point where I'm going to start sounding like I'm speaking gibberish if you haven't been following along. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys can still understand what's going on. The hard-headed cricket. Oh, and Luluko. Wait, I don't think he'd be open yet anyway. So let's come up here. Yeah, and Luluko. <gasps> Look, there's things ready. There's beautiful lupins ready to harvest. In Luluko, I think Ludus is only, um is only available later in the afternoon to have as his little shop. So we'll wait just a bit. All right, hi little guys, I wish I had a walnut for you. We'll wait just a bit to interact with Ludus and that'll give me a, a quick morning to say hello to everybody here in Westtown. Hey Hector, and let's come in and talk to Megan really quickly. 
I don't think I could visit with all of the villagers as often as I want, but you know, it's important to say hello to everybody. Frank was always telling me about you every chance he could get. I guess that's why the day when we first met, it didn't feel like a first meeting at all. Oh, Megan, thank you. I wish I had more gifts to give them. Oh, I'll have to start figuring out some of their favorite things through trial and error. All right, and how are the kids? Guess what, guess what? I helped Mama out a whole lot today, so she said I was a good girl and she was proud of me. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Do, do you get up really early uh, to work really early, Siri? Pa and Grandma have to get up early too. Oh, Colin. All right, let's run this way. Talk to Desi. How's she doing today? Good morning, Siri. Glad to see you this early. Did you want to discuss network related things with me? No. What if I wanted to give you a cute little gift though? Let's see about giving Desi, I could probably spare one of these pink lupins. So let's give her a pink lupin. Hmm, is this for me? Thank you so much, I like these. There you go, Desi. I think she loves strawberries the most, but I don't know how to grow. Ah, oh, the bear's attacking me, back off bear. I'm trying to befriend you, but you're being stubborn about it. I'm trying to bef bear friend you, ha ha. All right, let's go ahead and put this down. I think that he likes the like wild fruit and things like that. So I put down some plums. Come on, little buddy. Come on, little berry. Oh, that just made him mad. Sorry. <laughs> no, don't chase me. <laughs> Clearly, I have to work on my bear experience because I'm not doing the best. And let's put down this walnut I just picked up so that the mongoose will hopefully be happy. Just because we're getting busier with lots more to do doesn't mean I want to neglect the ability to do little part-time jobs and take care of the wild animals. And count butterflies! Yay! Okay, so that little guy's happy. Speaking of counting butterflies, this is a nice little spot just to find a cluster of them real quick. I should have said hello to my uncle, but you know what? I've already committed. I'm already up here. There's some aloe vera to harvest. Hector. Excuse me, Horatio. Alright, what's available today? Milk some cows. Animal trimmer! Postal carrier. We're looking uh, for someone to deliver a package to Tototara. I could totally do that. I will accept that. Uh, shipper, please ship any kind of milk. I can do that too. So hopefully, uh, let's see. Oh, look, you can do things in the other villages now. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Okay, that answers my question. All right, let's go ahead and milk some cows with my uncle really quickly. This is pretty hilarious. You can do things in the other villages. That'll actually transport me straight into that village for being able to get Ludus to do my kitchen upgrade. So that really worked out quite well. All right, got to milk some cows real quick. There's one cow milk. It appears my uncle mostly likes cows with blonde hair. Two cow milk. All right, if I go fast enough, you might give me a tip. Nope, I keep missing this cow. <laughs> Come on, cow. And three cow milk. There we go. I love how quick you can you can go when you're doing these kinds of things. All right. There you go, uncle. I can't wait to start doing jobs for the other village, too. That's going to help me out so much on town link ratings. And so Horatio is the only one you really have to come talk to. Holy moly, uncle. You were hiding all sorts of treats from me. You didn't tell me that you had wild stuff over here that I could harvest. <coughs> hiding it on me. Naughty uncle. All right. So we got stuff from Frank. He's busy inside of his farm. I need to start giving him more gifts too. Horatio, I will totally accept more jobs. This is so exciting. All right, I'll, do, I'll trim the animals really quickly. I guess when it's like 100G, it can help you out in one way, but you don't need it in another way. But I can use the 100 gold that we got from both of these two jobs. So it's like a little over 200. And I've never sheared a sheep before, so I wanted to try this out. Look at how cute it is. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is so cute. Oh my gosh, but um, you know 200 gold can be an animal treat for Minty so I can get Minty a nice treat today too And that would be really fun Keep my cows happy. Keep my chickens happy All right, there you go giant giant fluff of wool. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you Megan and she gave me lots of extra money, too That's so awesome. All right. Oh, hi Hector. I think I already said hello to you today. Sorry Hector. I was born and raised right here in West Town. Only moved out for a while after I got married to my wife. I wonder what happened to his wife. I probably shouldn't ask. That may be why he doesn't really like to talk anymore. Hey, Noelle. Days like this, I just feel like singing. That's so cute. She's so much like her mom then. Her mother is a famous singer, if you all remember correctly. Let's see, Horatio. 
So let's see. So now it's chopping wood, which would probably leave me over there in the village. There's also packages that I can deliver in the village. So I'll accept that. A package to Wayne, which is pretty darn interesting. Um, I don't know if I should accept that because I don't know if I could get back in time. But I know I'm going to be visiting with Lucas anyway. So let's start here. And then I need to pick up something from Ethan that we actually- Oh, the eagle's down here! You guys, the eagle is on the ground! We have a ground eagle! Do I have something to offer him? I don't think I have anything I can offer him. I don't have any, 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 anything I can give him, like, fish-wise right now. That is so cool, though. Ah, I wish I had time to go get a fish, but I really don't think I do. I'm so tied up on time as it is. Gosh darn it. That would be really awesome, though. All right, let's come over, talk to this guy. Hey, Ethan. All right, so this needs to go into the other town. So I'll remember that. And Wayne's over here. Uh, what was I doing? Well, now I still lived in the city. I was just your average Joe student. What? My hometown didn't have a school, so I went to one of those fancy boarding schools in the city instead. Oh my gosh, that fits him so well. That fits him amazingly well. All right, so let's see. Let's give him a pink lupin. I should probably give Lizette one pretty soon to you. Oops, sorry, Wayne. Um, uh, way much closer for comfort than I meant to do. All right, we'll run away from that. And then I need to give Ford a gift as well. So I want to give Lizette and Ford a gift. Uh, I wish I had something to offer that eagle. That was so cool that he was on the ground for a second. Veteran forager! Huzzah! I've been harvesting all of the wild props. Oh, it looks like Lizette's in here visiting with Miranda. Hello, Miranda! Alright, let's see. I can't think of anything I have that I might be able to give her to be a really good present today. I really need to figure out what their presents would be. All right, but I need to get more radish seeds. I need to be careful because I don't want to run out of the money that I need to use to upgrade my home, which is 5,000 gold. But I definitely need to start getting a few more seeds just here and there. And maybe I'll try growing a potato? Um, I need some fertilizer too. All right, let's see. I already have two radish spots. All right, I should try growing a couple potatoes. All right, but I'm gonna sit on top of the rest of, well, maybe a couple more radish seeds. Mm. They don't really make the best money is the thing, but it's really important to have them around. So I don't know. And then you got your sparkly fertilizer and we do have a very important harvest festival coming up at the end of the month. Uh, improves the color of our crops. Uh, hmm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and like, I don't know how many of the fertilizers you can use at once. So I'm gonna grab some of those. I'll grab a couple more radish seeds and then I gotta stop spending money or else I'm gonna not be able to get my house upgrade. There we go. And Lizette? Howdy, how have you been Have you been working hard today? Don't overdo it, all right? How about you take a quick lunch break? Oh, can I have lunch with you, Lizette? I, I really can't wait till I can start figuring out how to eat with the villagers. All right, let's give Lizette the, let's see. Where is it? There's the moon drop flower. We'll give her the moon drop flower because it's pretty cheap actually. Lizette? Oh, thank you so much for the wonderful present. That was so sweet of you. There you go, Lizette. I spend almost all my time right here in town, so please come over and say howdy when you see me. Wonderful! I feel so frantic with having to run around and trying to be everybody's friend. I, which is just, I, I just love it. I love trying to befriend everybody and being nice to everybody and give them gifts forward. Ah, Siri, busy as a bee today, hmm? Keep up the good work. He knows me! I am busy as a bee. That's a good way to look at it. All right, so we want to grab the aloe for him. No, I don't want to eat it. So I want to grab the aloe for him and give it to him. Hmm, this is for me, is it? An excellent choice. Wonderful. So now my energy is infectious and he's happy. Suddenly deciding to become a farmer with no prior experience is the very definition of youthful recklessness. Yes, I know. My family didn't approve. That's a very big contrast to the people in Luluco who are like, ambition in a young person is a good thing. I really love how there's different cultural expectations in each town as well. Oh, and I need to buy my treat. I can't buy my treat. I don't have enough money anymore. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Minty. I was going to buy you a treat today, but I got radish seeds instead. All right. And let's go ahead and we're going to pop over to being a woodcutter in Luluco. Let's check this out. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, all right. And this is gonna increase our town link rating with Luluco. I'm so excited. Also, I love, love, love her jewelry and her necklace. That's just so pretty. All right, here we go. Just chopping away, getting some of this wood out of the way. 
and hopefully it will increase our relationship with the town. And you have different items and different pets and all sorts of different things that become available to you as you increase your relationship with each of the towns. So I'm not exactly sure what, but you can look at the details if you're the type who likes to peek ahead and kind of plan out which one you want to focus on the most. I am the type who just loves kind of kicking around and discovering things more or less uh, on my own. There we go, yes! And we got more money! I'm sure I'll need your help again sometime. Mahalo! All right, so Karalia is happy with us. And we're here, Karalia, hi! How are things at the farm? I'm always on the lookout for good produce to sell, so let me know if you have anything special available. All right, so let's get out of here. Oh, let's see this little butterfly, a velvet diadem. And let's go talk to Ludus! Ludus, 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 Ludus! Ludus, I'm here, I'm here today! I'm here today with the lumber, Ludus, I'm so happy! Siri, you're here to help me with deliveries, right? I've got a lot to send, so I appreciate the help. Let's see, gotta figure out- Oh, it even has different sized packages for the different villages! Be still my heart! All these details are just right up my alley. Check the memo to see where the deliveries need to go. It's easy. I'm sure you'll figure it out fast. Thank you, Ludus! Como mai? That means welcome. Welcome to the Jack of All Trade Shop. Relaxion. What can I do for you? Alright, let's try the home service again. And I want to expand my house. Sure, I can expand your home. Would I remodel your home? Yep, any items put inside, word of warning. Okay, let's see. <gasps> we can do it, you guys! Let's do this! A normal house. It has everything necessary for daily life, including a kitchen and a closet. The kitchen would allow us to cook. The closet would allow us to change our appearance. Very important things. I did it. I did it! I did it! Yes! Order received. Let's head to your farm and get started. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my house is gonna get remodeled! Let's get started. Sorry, Siri, but if you lend me a hand, uh, you'll the work will go faster. Yes, I get to help build my own house. Lots and lots of plants, please. <laughs> it's just like knocking down the old place. We're just gonna bulldoze this. This is hilarious. Oh, look at me go! I'm helping! Speedy little busy bee bunny. Very happy. Oh, that's so cute. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! House renovations! It's so cute! This is a lot nicer than the usual ones. Oh, this is adorable. <gasps> is that my house? It's a little western house! Oh my gosh, it's cute! And you can actually change the style of the homes in the future, too, if you want. <gasps> it's all done! I have a kitchen now! I need to buy recipes! Congratulations! You've upgraded your home. Oh, I'm so happy. Ah, Ludus, thank you! There you go. It's all done. Thanks for helping out. This is fantastic! Siri, I hate to say this, but... I never could make it out here because of the damage to the road. You were living in a pretty rundown place. Fortunately, we took care of the stuff with the overhaul. Come on, I'll show you around and explain the features of your new home. That's so nice of him to, to be like, I'm really concerned that you lived like this, but we made it better now. Wow, look how big my house is now! <laughs> oh, I even have my little kitchen! Look at this place! Well, you like it? Still has its small farmhouse charm that one day we'll upgrade, but for now it's perfect. Okay, let me tell you a little about the new things I've added with your renovation. First, here's your closet. If you ever want to change your outfit or headgear, come check this door. Here, let me show you some diagrams to explain how it works. Alright, so in the clo- Oh look! It's the same closet we had when we were doing our like appearance selection! Oh, I love that! I totally missed all of these. So we can change like our hat, remove our hat entirely, pick from a whole bunch of different types of hats. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Outfits parameters. That's not something that'll affect your daily life, so don't worry about it by now. Okay. What? What? There's different categories! Okay. Don't worry about it right now is what it said, but I'm kind of curious about this. Okay. That should do for the explanation about your closet. Next, I'll tell you about your kitchen. Come with me. This is your kitchen. Here you can follow recipes and use ingredients you have to cook dishes. All right, so then you add, let's see, ingredients and toppings, what? 
To start, you'll want to pick a recipe to make. As long as you have everything on the upper, hi uh, upper right list of ingredients, then you should be good to go. Now you see the, that line of question marks in the bottom left. Once you eat the dish for the first time, that will be where the dish's food power icons will be displayed. Right now, they are question marks because, because you haven't tried it yet. Okay, and I, it said corn too. Potato, cucumber? Where is the cucumber and the carrots coming from? What do you mean topping picks with peppers and radishes and beans, what? Uh, this here is what you'll have after you've eaten the dish at least once. Any dish with the food power will bring up icons like this, like that. Keep in mind that most of the really simple recipes won't have any food powers. After you eat one of these, the area for the icon will be blank instead, like this. So this looks like just, uh, just mashed vegetables. And then let's see. Okay, once you've picked a recipe, it's time to choose the ingredients. Once you have everything, select the confirm button on the very bottom. You can choose each ingredient individually. Uh, auto select will automatically pick any ingredient that matches the requirements out of what you have. It's a real quick and easy way to select the ingredients you need. Last but not least, you need to decide how many of each dish to make. You can make extra to ship off, or you could keep them around to eat later and restore your stamina. Wonderful! Thank you, Ludus! If you're still unclear about anything, just look in your bookshelf. Thank you, Ludus! I know that was an awful lot at once, but you know what, it say, what they say. Easiest way to learn is just by doing. Just take it one thing at a time and you'll figure it out, I'm sure. Okay, that should do it for me. I'd better head back to the shop. Later, Siri. Later, Ludus. Thank you. All right. So, yes. If you need anything else, you know where to find me. Is there anything else you need? What would we want if we wanted to say... Uh, okay, we can't expand anymore. But if we wanted him to make furniture, what could he make for us? Another little storage box level two. Oh my gosh. We might have to save up for that. I'll remember. All right. So, nothing there. Let's try fishing bait service. And then attach bait or remove bait so he could add bait to our thing. Farm circle service. If we wanted to build a farm circle, what could we make? We could add more fields! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! You just need dry soil to be able to make a field. Uh, you could add another water source, another barn, the large barn, coop, large coop, the pet house! We need to save up for a pet house ASAP. Then there's the silo, the hay bales, wow. Oh my gosh, there's decorative pieces, hay bales, milk cans and boxes, a uh, farm shed, which I think is probably just decorative again. There's a farm arch, oh wow. I think you'll get tons more farm circles as time goes on too. All right, I think that's everything. I see, come again. Thank you, Ludus! Holy moly, I feel almost kind of dizzy with all of the things that we have to do. Not to mention, I still need to like deliver a ton of things. So I need to visit something to Tototara, and then Ilaka and Suka, so the, the sisters, and then Wayne. So let's go to Tototara, and then I need to get home at some point too, so I can actually ship things. All right, whoops, this is somebody's in room. Sorry about that. I need to ship a milk in order to complete one of our uh, part-time job requests and I really need to figure out- Oh, her mastiff is sleeping next to her and she's petting it! <laughs> These kinds of details, my heart, my heart! Mahalo Siri, I've been waiting for this. Ludus, the local handyman, is my grandson. I don't say it often, but I'm very proud of him. I hope that one day he'll follow in my footsteps as Luluko's town elder. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's pet, uh, no, Tototara, I was trying to talk to your dog. <laughs> that's okay, it's such a cute dog. And it's just hanging out there. It looks like everybody is just relaxing in the inn's front corridor too. So I need to deliver a couple things to the priestesses and then I need to go and talk to Wayne so that we can deliver the package to him as well. All right, so let's come up here and talk to the girls. Ah, there we go. Uh, you're here about a package, right? There you go, from Ludus. Thought so. Mahalo. Listening to the sounds of the ocean makes me sleepy. Oh, and then over here, a delivery? Oh, it must be that. There you go. All done there. What, you wanna know what it is? That's for me to know. Anyway, mahalo. Koma Mai, welcome to the Coracello. Oh, it's just you. Dang, I accidentally gave you my best customer service smile. <laughs> like I'm gonna become a customer there if you talk to me like that, come on. Oh, look, you guys, there's more coral pieces out. Hi, hi, cute puppy. Hi, cute puppy. I can't wait until we can have access to the animals, too, and get a pet. Oh, there's the turtle. 
One day, one day I will come by and charm the turtle as well. All right, so let's go give something. Uh, I'm gonna drop really, really, really quickly into my farm, drop the milk into the, let's see, let's come, there we go, large tree nymph. I'm gonna drop the milk into my shipping bin. Uh, and I think it has to be like any, it doesn't matter which place I'm shipping to, I don't think. Did I already put the milk in? My goodness, I was already ahead of myself the whole time. All right, well, we'll put the prickly cactus in. I'll go ahead and sell the lupin. I'll go ahead and sell the coral and the weed uh, and this weed too. And let's see, I'll keep the rocks. The Venus, I wonder if I should give this Venus comb to somebody. It's only 60 G, so I'll probably keep it and give it away as a gift. All right, and then walnuts, aloe, plum, maple branch I need to put away at some point. All right, I don't think it matters which town you sell it to when it's those kinds of shipping requests. And that's why it gives you the circles as the icon for those instead of the town icon, the way that some of the other things like doing jobs for specific people uh, give you. So, all right, let's run up this way. I've still got quite a bit of energy today. Should probably use some of that to water some fresh crops, but I need to go find Wayne. And once we find Wayne, hey, Noelle. She's so cute. Once we find Wayne, we can give him a gift and I will have completed lots and lots of part-time jobs to help me out after, Wayne, there you are. After spending all that money on my new kitchen. Ha, huh, weird. I'm usually on the opposite side of this exchange. There we go. And we'll give him his package. Anyway, yes, this is exactly what I asked for. Thank you kindly. And did I already give him a gift today? I think I did. It's been a busy day. My head is still spinning from all of the running around we've done. But to cook, I think you have to come and buy recipes from like the restaurant and places like that. So I wonder how I do that. Let me see, Eggs Benedict. Do you just have to like, yeah, look, I think you have to eat it. And then once you eat it, you'll know the recipe. I got it, I got it. Okay, I can't afford anything. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> All right, we can at least say hello to them. But I do think in order to get recipes, you have to actually eat the item, maybe? And that's how you buy the recipes from the shop. I bet all that physical labor gives you quite the appetite, hmm? Whenever you're running on empty, come down to our restaurant. Brad's cooking is really tasty. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Brad. All right, let's wave wave up to Brad. There we go. So I think that's how you get recipes, is like you go out and you eat things from other people's homes or you eat things um, that the different businesses sell. So I don't have enough money to do that right now, but I will keep my eye on it. All right, bye, Noel. All right, so I delivered everything. I think I, I think I did good. There's so many things to juggle in my head now. I had just gotten the flow of it with having just one town, and now we have two towns, and so I feel like I really, really have to work hard to keep up the flow. But let's go down to our farm, and I can go ahead... And I think I'll wrap the day up just by, by tending to our farm a little bit, watering crops, making sure that everything is okay, maybe putting the grass seeds out, putting the animals back in. I totally forgot the radishes were ready to harvest. <laughs> There's just so much going on right now. It's amazing. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just focus on like planting more radishes, getting maybe some of the grass seeds down. Uh, I might put the grass seeds over here after all because it'd be really cute to have them next to where my cow is. And then, I guess, well, let's go inside and look at the kitchen just really quickly together. Oh, and I forgot. Let's see. Chick farmer certificate? Oh, that's so cool. I wonder why I got a chick farmer certificate. Was it for shipping eggs or maybe making a happy chicken? Oh, look at this. Oh, you guys, it's so pretty. I can't wait to start decorating this place with my own style and my own flair. And then this is the place where I can cook and I know no recipes. So there's 41 salad. What? Okay, hang on. Salad, soups, grilled and fried, pot dishes, rice dishes, noodles and bread, dessert. There's almost a hundred desserts. Drinks. There's so many different recipes. That's hundreds and hundreds of recipes we could possibly learn. How am I going to learn them all? I guess maybe you need to improve your town rank and that will give you access to more recipes. That's the only theory I have. But all right, I'm gonna take care of these radishes and I am going to go ahead and push our animals back into their barn and coop. And I will see you guys next time when we are going to continue to do what we can to really work on expanding our farm, making myself and my, uh, my dad hopefully proud. I'm pretty sure Uncle Frank is already proud of us. Trying to figure out how to befriend Uncle Frank and some of the others quite a bit more. How is my town link rating going by the way? 
and we're getting so close. I think we might be able to pass our town link rating any day now. I just got to keep it up. So, all right, plenty to do, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.